Hi everyone. Um, I've been out this morning up to the garden centre because I needed some things and I couldn't wait for my orders to come through myself. So, um, I got myself some uh, wine gums. Favourite one, black. Mm -hmm. Like that. Put them there so I can keep picking at them. Now, what I've done is I've been and bought some balls. <laughs> Palestinian ones. Um, and I've got three different sizes. These I use for the body forms. You know, the body forms that I'm selling on my Etsy. Um, I use those for the, to, for the head. You, you glue that onto the neck. You can cover it or paint it first and then glue it onto there. And you stick your pins in there. Because you can use your body forms as a stick pin holder. So, I've been and bought some more of those for the body forms that I've got. And you can get the body... Uh, body. Yeah. You can get the body forms... On my Etsy store at Jennings 644. I'm going to show you a product. Uh, I'm going to make something with this. I'm going to show you how to do that. You really needed the Oasis ones, but you can do it with this. I also bought some more of these because I've run out, so I can carry on doing the um, Tiger Lily flower. Mm, I'll get some of those somewhere else. And then I managed to pick up some more paint, which are the acrylic paints, the, the colours I didn't have. Uh, and that is the avocado, nice green. The burnt umber, because I'm running low, until I get the big one. And this one is the wild violet, beautiful colour. I also got the paler one, which is, find the colour, the lavender. Um, I think this is the, yeah, the clay, nice clay one. I also picked up this one, which is uh, the metallic rose, do nice for flowers. And the black, because I've nearly... Well, I've almost run out of the black, but that'll put me on till the big ones come. So that's those. Shall pop these to one side. Oops, a daisy. <coughs> and then this, which is the easy liner for baskets, for, you know, your garden baskets. And that's not dirt, it's ink. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering. Because, ladies, let me put that right way around because I'm going to show you how to make a tree. Now, you really could do with the moss. I don't have any. I could glue on some of the um, some of this stuff. But it's too much messing about for me and I can't be bothered. So I'm going to use this. See if it works. And what we're going to do, move those out of the way. I'm going to use a medium sized ball because you're going to like this <coughs> so pop that there open this and take this out but because it's in sections anyway <coughs> all the fibres off it you need to cut it just cut the sections off you know, it doesn't matter. You're going to be cutting it anyway. Into pieces. Oh! <laughs> Alright. Now, what I'm going to do... Yeah. I'll cut these up into smaller pieces. It's just easier to apply, that's all. Make sure I've got the glue gun on. What you're going to do is start and cover the ball. So... Pop that on there, and just pop that onto the polystyrene bowl, like that, and completely cover the ball. I'll come back when I've finished. Right, what I've done is I've covered the polystyrene ball, doesn't matter about any little gaps at all. Um, you need some, the floristry ribbon, which I've chosen those two colours, Oops. and you also... <coughs> Hang on a minute. You need some flowers, so I've got some of these roses. And some of the blossom. Okay, and what I've started to do, I'm just doing these first, and then I'm going to put in... And no, I'm going to do the roses first. So all you do is cut them down, and you pop them in um, to the polystyrene. So I'll show you that in a minute. 
you might need um where's my pliers you can glue them all in later okay so I'm just gonna pop them in like that and I'm gonna do that all the way around but like I say it is easier with the oasis because with the oasis you don't need to cover um Now, these are only thin wires. Like you will need some greenery, but I'm just going to put the flowers in first, and then I'm going to pop in the um, greenery later. And I'm just randomly putting these in. Good mix all the way around. Pop them in. Like that. Oops, doesn't matter about that. Head come off. somewhere and it won't go through start the hole off and pop it in like that and just keep going round and round until you've got them what you do next is like I say put your main flower in and then I've chopped these right down because these can glue onto the um, felt and then just fill them in like that put them where you want turn it around, pop one in Now, I once did these, um, and I did a pair of them for either side of my bay, uh, of my window, and they were huge, about four foot ones. Oh, absolutely stunning they were, and somewhere I do have a photograph of them, and I will eventually bring that out and show you. But they were absolutely gorgeous, many, many years ago when I did mine, for the house. Like I say, please run along to uh, Chris's website as well uh, on Etsy, her shop. That's a scrapping idea because she's got some awesome, awesome goodies. And of course, there's mine at Jenin644. I'm just going to, any that's a little bit loose, glue them down. That's fine. That you could put a little bit of glue around all of them. And just glue that in. I might want to put some more in, I may not. What I am going to do is get some more bits for it.
what I've found is some beads and some more little flower things and I think I am going to put some of these in and to do that all you need to do is glue them on And basically just start filling in some more in here like see how it's coming along a nice flower flower ball or what you want to call it uh, I'm not too sure about putting those on but I might put some of these I'm not sure no. Some of those. No. I'm going to put the odd leaf on though. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do, I need them all. Oh, that's a different colour. I'll be back. Right, as you can see, I've now taken the rod, which is a plain um, skewer. I've covered it with the garden tape, which is this. Oops. Uh, because it's not in a solid base at the moment. Let me just find something to... Put it in, which I haven't got anything really. Oh, I'll use this little drawer just for now. Let me take this uh, stuff out of here. And, um just slice that down. Right, just for now to sit it in so I've got something to work from. I'm just going to pop that in my little drawer. Guard the tape around the... Uh, dowel and then what you've got you need to put this you need to find some something like oasis and a nice little pot to put it in and so far we've just got this i'm going to finish off because i want to put some more tiny roses around and um, so i'm just going to snip a few of these off and oops oh nearly stopped himself no room <laughs> I'm just going to they're like little fillers but you need I'm going to do some other bits as well to fill but I just want to put a few of these tiny flowers in here and there I'll put that on there why not Just to fill some gaps up before I finish off. I mean, you can put whatever you want on these. I'm just basically showing you um, how to do the tree. 
and they are really effective. You can have them as small as this, you can have them smaller. I mean, mine, like I say, were about four foot when I did my original ones. And uh, they look fantastic because I colour coordinated them with the living room. Um, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And I loved them. But um, I had them for years and I don't know what happened. Just kept renewing all the flowers that had faded or anything like that. Because they used to be stood either side of the window. So just keep turning it around. Adding the flowers where you want them. I think they're really, really pretty. Very quick and very easy to do. I mean, I would advise you basically to have everything ready on hand. Instead of like me, doing it the way I do. Let's um, snip these off. I mean, you could do a really good mix of flowers. You could do all one kind, mixed in with berries and a little bit of foliage. I don't have any foliage. I'm just using what I've got at the moment. Oops, that's lost one. Um, like I say, I'm just using what I've got. Um, ooh, I've lost a flower somewhere. Oh, it'll turn up. Anyway. Like I say, just keep filling in the gaps where you want them. And the flowers come undone. Like that. I have added some leaves, I, I've coloured those as well. Let me just show you. And then I finish this. There we go. Oops. Move that there. Right, I'm not going to put any more flowers in. I'll fill mine in later. What I am going to do now is show you um, this. Now, it's just ordinary garden tape. Okay. And you're going to need a little bit of wire. I'm sorry, I'll just get the wires. <coughs> and all you do is thread the wire onto... Uh, sorry, thread the tape and hook it over like that. Pins sorry, I don't, I don't know if you saw that. What I've done is I've just threaded the ribbon onto the wire and hooked it over and pushed that in. If you want to do it your way, you go ahead. I'm just showing a little quick way of doing this. And then you pinch that bit off like that. Take hold of your scissors. Not sure how long I want this. I want half this, I think. A good eight inches will do. And make a curl like that. And then you push, naturally, you want the ringlet type one. Like that. Do the other way. That's better. Like that. And you can push these into the ball like that and have them dangling or what you can do hang on a minute take a little bit of your craft wire snip that off poke that through the end all you're doing is just popping that onto there bending it in half 
pinching that together like that and then from underneath just find a little gap and I can find one in there there you go hang on let's use my tool right what I've done now excuse me I'm just finishing my sandwich um, I've just stuck some of the um, bling because you can mix your bling oh I've got a bit of thread that's coming off yeah I've just stuck some of the tiny bling in here as well um, I, I mean I would have put more than that on in a little bow or something like that I could wrap it around the stem or something but it were, I'm just basically showing you what to do and how to do it these look stunning you can make them in miniature with the tiny roses or like I say you can do them any size you want I mean obviously I will get a nice pot to put that in with a nice base I will finish trimming it up um, I basically just wanted to show you uh, how to do it I mean you can put all sorts you could do little tiny ribbons on a, a wire and stick them in as well um, whatever you want to do with them I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it. And uh, if you do, let's see what you what you create. It's nice when somebody does something from a tutorial uh, and we can see it back, what they've created. Come along, not hard, few flowers, few beads. Put, you can either use a polystyrene ball or you can use the Oasis ball. Skewer and a bit of Oasis in the bottom with a pot. Have fun and I'll speak to you soon.